1961, Willie Brand presented this bell to JFK on the left. It does not have an initialism or anything for where we go one, we go all. It is not the bell that's found aboard the Eye of the Wind, a boat that is found in many movies and TV shows, and in White Squall, a 1996 Ridley Scott Jeff Bridges movie that is not about JFK, by the way, if you're curious. The one on the left was presented to John Fitzgerald Kennedy, apparently March 1961, by someone in Germany as a friendship item. The one on the right is a bell that's the only recorded existence of a bell or that expression that anyone can find that they're willing to present as being some sort of authorization for Donald Trump to ignore him losing an election, which he did lose. And there's no subtext. He just lost. Eye of the Wind, 1911 is when it was created. Ridley Scott, Jeff Bridges, White Squall, 1996 movie. That's the uh, ship. It has that bell aboard it. And that's apparently a snapshot from the movie, and I'm using it under fair use. Q clearance or Q access authorization is the U.S. Department of Energy DOE security clearance. It covers nuclear weapons and or related materials only. It's only granted on a need-to-know basis. It does not give you unrestricted access to everything because it's always based on that. It literally just says only granted on need-to-know basis. That means it is not caught blanche. Having that does not grant you special powers. It should also be pointed out that this is the title of a book and is, the, is mentioned a couple of times in pop culture, but only a couple of times because it literally has need-to-know basis. Which means if you come in to Area 51 and say, I have Q access authorization or Q clearance, they're going to say, what the hell does that have to do with you landing on a bombing range and test facility, Archer? Where we go one, we go all is not on in Isaiah 2620 or any other Bible verse as well. And again, emphasis added, I'm an atheist correcting people who are misquoting the damn Bible because... Misquoting anything you can go look up really bugs the shit out of me. Now, you might be able to find someone who says it's that, or says it's that if you translate it from Hebrew, Aramaic, or Cone Greek, which I will just go ahead and do if you just tell me where it is. This is exclusively from a bell on a specific sailing ship that was built in 1911. It's, the ship is used in several film and television shows, but that's not the point. It was used in a movie that became famous, and that's where the photo comes from that people get a snapshot from. It's from the uh, movie behind-the-scenes images that were taken of the bell. It was never on Willie Brandt's bell presented in 1961 to JFK, and JFK never had any bell of that type with any kind of inscription even remotely like that on any of his ships, yachts, or anything else. Roping JFK or JFK Jr. or anything else into it is horseshit. Q clearance or Q access authorization only works within the U.S. Department of Energy, only for need-to-know basis, and only for nuclear weapons data. It is real. 1986 Peter Benchley novel, satirizing Cold War secrecy a lot like well, one of my favorite movies, but anyway, um, like a very similar movie, uh, it does. it's called Q Clarence. That's the only example of that being around in pop culture before a certain date. The Clarence is mentioned in a 2015 episode 7 season 6 Archer TV episode called Nellis, where he stupidly used that. And in 1956, it's also in, mentioned in a novel called The Door into Summer. Um... QAnon is an invention on 4chan, 8chan, and 8kun by Paul Ferber originally, Jim and Ron Watkins. There at least those three people have been identified as being likely the authors of it, and the only people who would be able to disprove it, because they would be able to tell you who this person really is. And more importantly, 
they've demonstrated, all three of them, an inability to control themselves by reposting similar things, and there is evidence of people posting very similar postings. I want to point out other postings a lot like this have been done before that I debunked because I found out the original author posted the same test story, found out it wasn't flying too good, it wasn't sticking to the wall like a good bit of Paschetti, and rewrote it later under another pseudonym, but they ended up leaving trip codes and crap around that I could trace. Jim and Rod Watkins are the primary sources for QAnon, and QAnon has not posted in a while because it's worn itself thin. Now, go on Amazon and buy all your QAnon uh, paraphernalia so somebody can make money. For all you know, I'm selling it. Next, most of the postings were a great deal like Nostradamus uh, postings, which are used as a form of cold reading. You present people with bullshit, see how they react to it, and then keep using whatever gets them to follow you and also weeds out non-believers as fast as possible. That way you get a cult following. Cult followings are not based on critical thinking. It's based on you lying to people about them being lied to and then believing you instead. No, there isn't a bell on JFK's boat, yacht, or anything else with the expression on it. Nor is it a quote from a Bible verse anywhere that anybody is willing to post to me. And it's almost exclusive sourcing of that expression seems to be a single screenshot right here and another one apparently from behind the scenes footage and video of it existing and someone liked it and reposted it. Q clearance has nothing to do with the subject matter for the umpteenth motherfucking time. And again, all of the other information is bullshit. You can double check all of this. You can find out if I'm wrong or right. This is the umpteenth time I've done a video about it. And the story just keeps getting better and better every time I watch it after 500 reviews. Yep, yes, I did like the movie uh, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. But thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that. And yeah, it's still BS. And no, there is no bell on JFK's ship.